Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dan Hop Realtors. Well, once again, I'm back at the beautiful Texas Hill Country community of Vintage Oaks, and behind me is a lot that I have listed. It is still on the market, but my client has been taking out some of the cedars because it gives you a better visualization of what this lot looks like. And I want to do another video tour to show what it looks like now as of August 2023. Let's go check it out. It is definitely a lot more open than what it was before. The uh, builder next door just chit chatted with him a little bit. It's going to be a very similar lot next door, and we're going to go get into that a little bit later on the video. But we are in the natural gas section of Vintage Oaks. All these lots are one acres and they are beautiful. Um, I'm not going to go into the price on this just in case we have a price reduction. Uh, but the price is going to be listed in the description box. So just kind of scroll down a little bit and you will see what the current price is. It's just a lot easier for me if we do have another price reduction not to have to come out and do another video. But anyways, you can see the property lines going from uh, the fire extinguisher, the fire hydrant there, all the way to the, uh, you see the little telephone post on that side. But yeah, let's go around this little garbage collecting barrier. But this lot looks so much different since we kind of cleared, since my client kind of cleared out a lot of these cedars. So it is much easier to walk around. Some beautiful oak trees on it. I want to get to kind of where we can see where the front of that other house is at, just so you can get a little measuring stick of how far back, what kind of building space we're looking at. All right, right now we're kind of right even with the other property line where they're, where they're building it. So this would be your front yard space. This area here would be where the house would be sitting on. And we're gonna walk down here. So it depends on everything, uh, how big of a footprint the house is is how many oaks you do get to save, but there's some beautiful oaks on this house. This oak tree you see right here would still be there because it's right on the border in between the lots. All right, so where this tree is, a good example of where the end of the house would be. So a fairly, I wouldn't say flat, but not dramatic. I think this how this lot slopes a little bit less up front than what this one does. But yeah, you are gonna have a, a taller foundation than if you had this on a flat lot. And that means all of this that I'm about to show you here would be your backyard. So that oak tree right here would be right in the middle of your backyard. Like I said, along with this oak tree being on the side yard. <coughs> but yeah, um, this isn't so bad at all as far as levelness because this is all pretty flat until you get down to this little shelf here. What I would do uh, if I were building on this lot would be bring in some dirt, make this my backyard, clear out the rest of the cedars, put a nice little wrought iron fence along this ridge here, and then you can still clear out some more cedars here going down, but still keep most of this fairly natural, uh, and then just maintain this section here as your backyard. You can tell from where I am to that house, that's still a really big yard. All right, I want to go and sh up into this house here. I talked to the builder. They said I could do that and kind of show you what the views would look like because it can be similar views on this lot as from the back porch of this lot. So yeah, let's head on up there. All right, this is the view from the neighbor's lot. So as you can tell, 
And these were really comparable lots. So if you did buy the lot next door, this is what your view would be. Then it's an amazing view. And the next door neighbors, they plan to put a pool in. So yes, if you get this lot, you can have a neighbor with a pool. And you know what I like to say, pools, horses, and boats. Uh, kind of a pain in the butt to maintain, but it's great to know people who have them. All right, let's head back over and finish up the tour. All right, like I said, some amazing views from that lot. Well, from the back porch there. But now I want to go ahead and show you what the other side of this lot looks like. And I believe on the right hand side, as you're facing the lot, it's actually a little more level. But I'm not going to just talk about it, I'm going to show it to you a little bit. We do have a slight slope going from the left hand side to the right hand side of the property. But I think that just makes it a little more evened out as you're moving from the front of the property to the rear. Like I said, my client's been working really hard trying to give people a better visualization of this lot. Another oak tree that can be on the edge of the property line. One thing I do like about vintage oaks, they're land developers. They kind of carve in a nice little walkway in between all their lots. So yeah, as you can see, we've got the little walkway going down this side. <clears throat> Get my bearing. So this here would once again be about where the front of the house would be. This oak stays because it's right on the edge, just fine. But then, looking down here for the footprint of the house fairly flat and it all depends on how deep your house is but you can see not so bad and now coming down to the side here we're going to get a little bit of a sloping down but looking from here all the way up, we're definitely into where the backyard space would be. And you can see, not so bad. Another nice little oak here on both sides of this lot line. So those would still be staying. Another little oak tree right here. Coming in, we start getting a little more rocky. And this is past kind of where that shelf, the wrought iron fence that I would put in to designate the backyard. So our goal uh, is try to keep this lot it, pretty much in the top five most affordable lots in Vintage Oaks. Um, we're not trying to be the most affordable because I've seen what that lot looks like and there's a reason it's priced so damn low but uh we come down here to this uh dry creek bed this is not part of a river or a creek this is a community drainage so no chance of this flooding but in texas we do have some nice gully washers and uh that's the only time you're really going to see water in here we are on limestone so water doesn't tend to stick around much it's fairly porous but it's kind of neat having this little concrete, I mean, uh, limestone uh, flat part area. And those orange flags back there, that designates the end of the property. All right. Let's head on back up and give you another look. All right. While I was walking up, I just had a nice chat with the owner of Vintage Luxury Homes. He's the, that's the builder that's building next door very impressive guy and i love what he had to say so i'm definitely going to be doing some more videos of vintage luxury homes they used to be vintage estates vintage estates got bought out by lansing and he was the original builder and uh got tired of sitting at home doing nothing so he started up uh vintage luxury homes which uh yeah, real down-to-earth guy, so very impressed. So I'm going to be adding vintage luxury homes to my uh, luxury builder recommendation list. But yeah, we're walking kind of across the front of the build site right now. 
and kind of just showing off the area a little bit more. All right, we're back, back up kind of where we started at. Uh, that's going to wrap the tour of the, the slot at 1237 Salt Lick in Vintage Oaks. It's a one acre lot. If you know anybody who's wanting to move to this wonderful community, but they don't have a lot yet, please share this video with them. It's a beautiful lot and there's not a lot of lots left out here. So I uh, hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel. But as always, share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.